let's talk about the GSFA Platinum Program. I love the GSFA Platinum Program. It is the same program whether you're doing an FHA, VA, USDA, or Freddie Mac loan. It offers more flexible credit score requirements with just a 640 credit score. And the money is either immediately forgiven as a grant or it is um, forgiven after three years, excuse me, five, no, it's three years. I, I, that's, a, that's a typo. Uh, it's forgiven after three years. So it is, a, it is a grant or it's forgiven after three years, forgive my typo. The grant is if you as the home buyer are working in medical field, law enforcement field, fire or education, and there's tiers to this one. So you can choose to get 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, or 5% of the purchase price towards assistance. It's just going to depend on the loan type and the interest rate. The more assistance you get, the higher the rate is going to be. All of that money is forgiven either immediately or after keeping this mortgage for three years. But if you're not in one of those fields, you have to be willing to commit to keep the house for three years to get rid of the entire amount of the assistance money that you're provided. But here's the challenge with this. I'll make this bigger. The challenge is that the options have become more limited due to a big word I'm gonna throw out there called illiquidity. Illiquidity is happening in the market right now because rates are moving so quickly and the fear from an investor, from Wall Street's perspective, from the bank's perspective, is that, hey, I'm gonna put you into this loan and I'm going to charge you, let's use the example right here of an FHA loan. I'm gonna charge you 5.625, but in a year and a half, rates are gonna fall and you're gonna refinance out. So I'm a little worried about that. So yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you 2% assistance, but the problem is if I, if I wanted to give you more assistance, I would have had to raise the rate even higher. And if I raise the rate higher, you're for sure gonna refinance faster and I'm never gonna get the extra money back. And that is a current market condition challenge. It's why I'm showing you, for example, back in March, you had the option of, hey, you could get 2% assistance or for about 1% higher, you could get 4% assistance. Well, now 2% assistance is the most that they offer for FHA and they don't even offer anything greater than that right now. This is a challenge as we continue in this crazy market until things settle down, we're gonna to continue to have this kind of volatility and it actually gets worse with other programs. But the fact is, depending upon timing, everything comes back around. March of 2020, the market shut down with COVID. We had major problems with the banking world. And back in March of 2020, we literally stopped all down payment assistance programs. Now, don't worry, if you had gotten a down payment assistance loan before that, we're not making you pay it back. We just aren't doing new down payment assistance programs. They literally froze across the nation. Nobody was doing them. And it took about three months for down payment assistance, two months. It was May, June of, last, of two years ago that they finally started coming back. We're actually in a similar environment for different reasons where there's huge volatility. They haven't shut down the programs, but they're curtailing them and creating circumstances where it may not make sense to use that type of down payment assistance right now.